Hi, this is George Cow, and I'll be the first one to go. I'm getting rid of my waiting list. I am grateful that right now I have filled uh, my client spots for the rest of the year, uh, and so any new clients that come to me will typically be on a waiting list um, until I'm available to work with clients again, and I keep them there with maybe sharing some content with them, uh, maybe enrolling them into my small group program, something like that. But um, I am going to get rid of the waiting list and instead I'm going to be referring new clients that come to me at this, from the stage to other service providers that I trust, that I believe do good work, similar to me, and uh, that I know need some work right now. And I, I hope that this video or idea inspires others to also get rid of their waiting list. Um, if we all just refer business to each other, we will all have enough business. The waiting list creates a couple of problems. One is the client doesn't get to have the service provider at this time. Uh, Yes, the client may have an alternative to go to some kind of group program or whatnot, but the, if the client wanted some one-on-one -on -one work, let's refer them to somebody who can do that one-on-one -on -one work with them now, someone we trust. And this also means that we each need to be building our network to be getting to know one another's services a bit better, to connect with people whose values we trust and whose services we, we can uh, trust to refer people onto. So, one is when we get rid of our waiting list, we serve the, the person better who needs services. Secondly, we serve our network better. And thirdly, we are someone that people say, wow, they can, they can count on us, right? Both the person who was referred on can count on us to provide something good for them. And secondly, uh, the person who gets to serve that client can now count on us better. The last thing I'll say is that um, it, also, it also requires trust trust in the universe, that the universe will bring us clients when we need it. Secondly, it also requires that we price our services in a way that um, if we have a full practice and then we lose one, two, or three clients because they have completed with us or whatnot, that we're not going to suddenly not be able to pay our bills. So we need to price our services adequately enough so that even if we have a couple spaces in our client spots, we can still pay our bills. Okay? So that's the second thing. The third thing is that we need to be creating content on a regular basis, whatever that means for you. For some of you, that may mean writing one blog post a month. For some of you, that may mean doing a, a video a day. So it, 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 the rhythm is very different from different people, but we need to be creating content often enough so that we keep on improving ourselves and we keep on building an audience so that, uh, and building trust in our audience so that when we do have client spots, we can just say, hey, I've got a client spot open right now. If you're interested in talking about possibly working with me, let's do a free call, that kind of thing. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this idea spreads that if we all get rid of our waiting list, that everybody will have enough business. So until the next video, I wish you well.